As of recording this video, a Pokemon Direct has in fact been announced for tomorrow. How's it going everybody? Tomorrow is the 27th of February, which is actually my birthday and also Pokemon's birthday. Uh, so Pokemon obviously call this Pokemon Day. So, you know, it's pretty cool to be born on Pokemon Day, I must admit. Um, but there's been a lot of anticipation um, for Generation 8's release and everybody's convinced that Generation 8 is going to be announced on 27th of February because of that is Pokemon Day. It just, it just makes sense. And um, although this isn't confirmed that it's actually going to happen, you know, we might just get nothing tomorrow. I figured we would go through all the rumored things, speculate what could potentially be revealed tomorrow and um, just, just talk because I just love talking about Pokemon. So even if this all does wind up being wrong, it's more just for the discussion and the idea sharing. So if you guys have got any ideas, then let me know in the comments below. This video won't be the highest production value ever because it is a video that's gonna probably, hopefully go out of date by tomorrow. So yeah. Anyhow, um, first thing we're gonna talk about is the actual Pokemon Twitter. Um, so Pokemon themselves have, for each day of Pokemon week, they've been doing this thing called Pokemon week. For each day of Pokemon week, they've been tweeting out each region. Visit Kanto, uh, visit Johto, uh, then we go to visit Hoenn, and then we get on to visit Sinnoh. And then that brings us to visit Unova, and then visit Kalos. Um, meaning, visit Alola is gonna be today. And then the 27th, Pokemon day, is visit that's one of the that's one of the reasons why people are so hyped up because they're like are they are they counting down the you know the the, the build up for the <laughs> you know I, I think that's definitely possible uh, and they're promoting Pokemon Day quite heavily like they want this to be like a momentous occasion um so there's that now of course I made that video before oops I accidentally opened up Spotify I made that video before uh where I showed off the whole Weedle stat thing the whole Pokemon King and Queen theory. Now, while I don't per uh, personally believe that King and Queen is going to be the exact title name, I I, I I don't know. I don't I don't want to like make bold claims, but I have a feeling that the game is going to be royal themed. Um, and this is just because there's been a bunch of different coincidences relating to royalty themes. Uh, we've got the rumored UK region, which is very fitting for the whole royalty kind of theme. Uh, we've got the games being rumored being King and Queen. Obviously, I doubt that. But that's another, you know, uh, the Weedle picture that we spoke about. I did a whole video about that. Uh, basically, the Weedle picture um, was tweeted out by Masuda. And um, there was, like, all of the stats for Weedle. Um, when you looked up the Pokemon number for those, I guess, the number of stats. For example, the CP. Um, I think the CP was uh, uh, Vespaqueen's Pokedex number or something. And then the weight of it was... Um, who was it? Uh, uh, the, the weight of it was like Nidorino's Pokedex number. And then there was also... Uh, oh yeah, it was Slowking. Slowking's Pokedex number also. So, I mean, obviously that could just be us overanalyzing it. And it most likely is, let's be real. But that's a, it's just another coincidence. That's like, that's royalty themed. Um, you can buy a crown and let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. You know... <laughs> um, they, they have had a tendency to hint at next games. In the last ones, like I remember in um, X and Y, they had the um, the like the a totem a totem head, which was later found in Sun and Moon or something. So they've referenced games that uh, you know future games in the past. So I definitely think Let's Go uh, with the Crown as a as a bot as a buy item. I think that's a worthy coincidence. Um, they've just actually announced the other day that they're um, I think it was more Pokemon Go actually. Okay, it doesn't seem that they actually tweeted it themselves, but I know that in Pokemon Go, uh, to celebrate Pokemon, Ga uh, Pokemon Day, later today, Pokemon Go is having an event where Eevee and Pikachu are going to have flower crowns. Like, as you can see here, Pokemon Day event announced po a shiny Rattata, a shiny Pidgey, uh, Pikachu and Eevee with flower crowns. Like, yeah, it's spring and flower crowns are totally in and stuff, but it's just another one of those things that's like, it's a crown and it's nodding towards the whole royalty theme that we've we've trying to been i guess arguing for um then there's also uh the map that looks similar to the uk all right i can't actually find the image itself but <clears throat> toby made a video talking about this and uh this is this this is the uh this is the region here 
and uh, yeah, it kind of looks like the UK, and I think that was found in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and he's, you know, he was arguing that it's not a hint, but I, I, I think it very well could be. And then apparently, I don't actually know this for sure, but apparently at some point last year they were selling like Pikachu and Eevees with crowns um, as plushies, I think it might be the Christmas royalty kind of, kind of one in the Pokemon Center, I don't exactly know. Uh, regardless, um, Pokemon's been tweeting out each region, we've had heavy royalty themes, so that's obviously, like, getting us closer to, like, oh, it could very well be, a, you know, the UK region, like, there's just so much coincidences pointing towards it, you know, so, like, obviously, it could all be just complete nonsense, and we could just get something completely different, but this is what we're here to talk about, you know? Uh, I want to know what you guys have, I think about all of this, really. I think King and Queen aren't very inclusive names, so I am more like, I, I don't really believe that those will be the names. People also speculated that it could be Crown Crown and Scepter. Personally, I think Scepter's a bit too compl complicated of a name for a Pokemon game. Pokemon names, if you, if you think about all the games that have been released so far, they're all very easy to remember. Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, Platinum, you know, they're, they're all relatively easy to remember. Uh, I don't see Scepter ever being a Pokemon name, but if it is, I will welcome it. It is a cool sounding name, but it's not so easy for kids to remember, and obviously they still want to appeal to kids. Although this could be them, this this could be Pokemon, uh, you know, taking on their, uh, their, uh, their, I guess, more mature audience. You know, this could be them being like, yeah, Crown and Scepter, guys. This is for the big boys. This is for the 20, 20 plus year olds that, that love Pokemon. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. But, there's more. So, I want to kind of neatly wrap up the whole crown, you know, royalty, UK theme of this video into one, one side. So, that's what I'm feeling is the strongest, because there's just, like I said, there's a lot of coincidences, and they could just be coincidences, and if they are just coincidences, that's cool. I love coincidences, that's super funny, and cool to look back on, you know, when, when the actual game is announced, which might not actually be tomorrow, but we're hoping. Um... So, I personally think that is the most likely, but there's been a few other possibilities. Um, I want to talk about quickly, I remember, I think in 2014, uh, there was a plus and minus that was, that was announced. I don't think people have really been talking much about it this time around, but I thought it was pretty interesting, considering uh, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons have plus and minuses on them, and this was before the Nintendo Switch was even revealed. Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons literally have pluses and minuses on them. I mean, I know that's a super, it's a super big stretch, but like, you know, <laughs> I mean, I think it would, I think if those games did come out, it would be pretty illegal if they just didn't make plus and minus in the mascots and plus and minus have already been, the, I guess, the main Pokemon of a Pokemon game before, you know, being Pokemon Ranger. So I'd, I'd big doubt for plus and minus, um, but that's, that's one of the few games that I've, the few rumors I've started to see resurface on my timeline so I figured I'd mention those briefly uh the next thing is go Nintendo tweeted that Pokemon related uh trademark altered Genesis filled in Japan so apparently um Pokemon filed for uh trademark of Alter Genesis it just sounds like TCG but it says Nintendo uh Co Limited Creatures Co Limited and Game Freak Inc, Inc, Inc. uh have uh, filed for a trademark in Japan for the term Alter Genesis. This trademark is related to both video games and trading cards. This falls in line with other similar trademarks from three companies, so it really could end up being anything Pokemon related. It definitely just sounds like uh, TCG, but I figured I'd mention that. Like I said, Alter Genesis sounds too complicated of a name for Pokemon specifically, but then it could Alter Genesis could just be a move, an attack. I don't know. Next up, uh, or I guess finally, the last thing I want to briefly talk about is this uh, Pokemon Chaos Control leak. Um, so apparently, this guy here tweeted out that, um, uh, I guess it's like, uh, I don't know exactly, a press release of, uh, of uh, these logos, and, and it, uh, somebody translated it, and apparently it says um, that it is Pokemon Chaos Control. Let me hold on. Let me let me zoom in. It's Pokemon. The game system. It like it re translates to the Japanese. It's game system. Pokemon Chaos Control. Poke Poke Royale. Tag Team. Version differences. Story. New Pokemon. Mega Evolution. Pokenet. Pokenet Battle. Poke Royale. Local play. Like <laughs> it looks like a proper full on like press release thing. Um, but hero of the day, Joe Merrick said Chaos Control. Clearly indicating Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog, plus 
inclusion of TCG mechanic in the text um, index page is a problem too. Plus the Japanese isn't perfect. So as cool as this is, and you know, I know Chaos Control would be a really big meme. If, if Chaos Control wound up being the games, which I don't, I, I, I'm big doubting it now, because Joe has pointed out that the Japanese isn't perfect, and that it's pointing towards Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> um, the logos look cool, I will admit, the logos are clean. I, I can't really see many faults, or any faults at all with the logos, which is why I'm just like, damn, you know, maybe this is it. Um, and it, You know, it, it's like a lot of effort. Somebody put a lot of effort into this, <laughs> um, just to troll us the day before. Um, but I was gonna say, while Chaos Control does have a big, um, I guess meme meme potential, and you know, like you know, there will be, if you can you imagine Generation Eight is called Pokemon Chaos and Pokemon Control. They are very easy to remember names, so I think those those the names are good to an extent, but the amount of Sonic memes that would come from it. But then in the same breath, Pokemon Company are smart. You know, memes promote things. Memes make things popular. I don't think having Chaos and Control... As, I, I mean, I don't believe this. This is fake. Let's just say that. But I could see it. Because Pokemon have taken uh, ideas from other games in the past. You know, Mega Evolution and Digimon. <laughs> Chaos Control. Um, but... Yeah, these logos are super clean, but yeah, they're probably fake. They, they, I, 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 I'm pretty sure they're fake. I think I, I definitely Chaos Control is definitely a name that I could actually see. That's all I'm trying to say. So that's not really so much relating to like a UK region, but I definitely think it could also be because maybe there's chaos in the in the in the Royal Guard. I don't know, man. Anyways, I'm gonna be stopped. I'm gonna stop rambling here. Um, that's pretty much all the information I kind of gathered uh, together here. Um. I know it's a lot to take in, and I know it's just a whole bunch of information just being thrown at your face, and I do apologize for that. Um, hopefully, I mean, I basically the point of this video was just to share with you guys all the rumors and speculations of what the next games are going to be right before the next games actually come out, hopefully. So if it, any of it does wind up being true, then we can come back to it and be like, whoa, oh my god, this person predicted it correctly. Another thing I will say is though, apparently, uh, there's like a, a well-known, like, I think it's the, the Chinese Whisperer or something. I don't remember his exact name, but apparently somebody that has been correct about Pokemon information in the past has saw the Generation 8 trailer and apparently they cried. So we don't know if that's tears of joy or tears of what could have been. <laughs> Regardless, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Um, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed these little discussion videos. Uh, I figured I'd just make one last one before the potential reveal. And uh, it's my birthday tomorrow, so wish me happy birthday. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.